Yeah, something like this. This is exactly what I want to build. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are touring Strictly Fish Miami. I drove all the way over here to give you guys an exclusive tour. I haven't been here probably in like over six years. They've changed so much and I'm really excited to see it. Lucky for us, we got Thomas here to show us a little bit behind the scenes. He is the cutter here, right? Yes, the cutter, official cutter in Strictly Fish. We're kind of the farm side, always cutting some corals for you guys keeping the freshest cuts. So if you've gotten frags from here, most likely they were cut by our boy Thomas. So many tanks. This is the whole saltwater side, right? Pretty yep. much? Yeah. Now, I think last time I came here, it was only this side. Look at this beautiful red sea that they got right here when you walk in. Cool looking clowns. Little Euphelia garden. This is what I'm trying to get over here. That's a chunky scully right there. It's fluffy. The lazier I get, the more I want to just spend the money on just getting a fully automated oh, system. Yeah, so much easier. <laughs> they look so different from mine. I didn't even know because I got um, uh, I have the Gen two with the wait, Gen two boards with Gen three li lights. Okay, nice. So there's the the two like circles. I didn't know they Those switched are them. Oh my goodness, so many, so many radions. I like how you guys have like a ver like a huge variety. It's not like sometimes you'll go to a store and they'll only have like a couple well, different yeah. frags. Oh, here we have everything. Literally everything. You can't really put hammers next to torches, right? They'll sting each other. You could, but um, it's not necessarily the best thing, but they won't kill each other. But I have it in my tank like that for a while. And really? Fine. I'm trying to think of like in the back right corner of my tank, I've been wanting to do like a euphelia garden, but I'm trying to think of like what I could mix. Look, all cut by your boy Thomas. Oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of fish in here. And look at that freaking, look at that colony. Space invaders. It grows fast. I have this in my tank too. And it was so like, quick. yeah, I gotta start cutting it. It's too much. And look at the, the, the mushroom rock back there. Hey, our boy, the diamond goby. I just got one in my tank. He, cause I have always had like Sino on my, just on my sand bed. <laughs> Solved all my problems. He makes a mess a little bit, but, um, but like it's worth it. I, my sand bed hasn't been that clean literally since I got the tank. Whoa. What is that? Look downs. Look downs? Yeah, actually tank rays and they're from here from Miami, from Florida. Those are cool. They get big? They get huge. Yeah? Yeah, they get huge. Just poor yeah, Once they get bigger, they'll drop off the little leaves. Because when they're born, they hang on the weed patches. So if they come up oh. and they drop them. That is super cool. These are cool too with the little two dots. Oh, look at the little baby blue hippo tangs. Those are so cute. Look at how big they are. Oh my goodness. I really like those. And the little fi I like how they have all the little baby fish. I, I don't I really like the little baby fish. You know, like the little blue the hippos, doors? the little fox faces. <laughs> They're just so, what is that? They get them in smaller, the hippos. Oh, is that the drag, uh, a um, dragonette, but a red one? And you got some fishies in. Oh, more diamond gobies. That's right. I'm a little, look at the, you didn't see them in this tank? Look. Yeah, I was gonna say, they get them in really I guess that one is smaller. Yeah. Oh, they're a little bit smaller. It's that Oh, yeah, this one. Look, look at them. Look at a little bit. Look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. They're literally smaller than the Comies. They got them in smaller. How big are these things born? They tank race. So they were literally from that time like this big before. Oh, they're able to tank race the tanks now? Wow. That's awesome. And yellow tanks as well. Yellow tanks is the new thing because it's a wife of the band. People started trying to get creative and all that. And the Captain Red ones, they first came out, they were like two years. They weren't even full yellow. Yeah, no, so no, it took no. a while for them to get the yellow. Now they're getting full yellow and all that, but they're super strong. All right, so that's about the extent of what I saw the first time I came here years ago. But now we have this whole room over here where they actually have tanks. We got the water boxes, regular uh, tanky tanks. And then I'm guessing that is the uh, coral farm, huh? Yep, that's the coral farm right there. We're about to get a sneak peek into the Strictly Fish Coral Farm. We're also super lucky because Juan is going to tell us a little bit about the coral farm in here, how it's set up, and uh, some of the fire pieces that they got rolling right now. So we have here three uh, tanks, they're four by eight. And we also have 60 gallon tanks in the corners. Um, they're all rolling with radions and reef sprites. Radions. And we also got uh, Ecotech uh, Vortex pumps on the sides. Nice. Are these, uh, oh, the MP40s are enough? MP40s. Nice. And then we have here a uh, acro torch display, also with radios and some T5, ATI Blue Pluses. 
They all run on calcium reactors. Um, we do go uh, cock walls as well at night. You guys trim from all of all of these farming takes? Yeah. And then this is what, like, the next stage before it goes out into the store? Exactly. Okay. What? Show me a couple of, like, your favorite pieces or, like, high-end pieces that you guys got in here. Well, Ooh, I see that one right there. Yeah. What is those it? Trackies. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a cool yellow one right there. Um, we got some, like, candles are pretty cool. Yeah. These have been bumping up in price recently. Yeah. I'm going to show you my favorite piece. I call it the Holy Grail of Salazar. Got the BBC flamethrower. Oh, that is nice. What are your scullies going for? I just got one recently. Oh, they go for like 400. You got the master for a thousand. Sheesh. Just look at the green growing around the bottom of it. That's sick. That guy looks really cool. The eyes on it. What's the yellow, the green one with the pink eyes in the back? Um, the 3G, mommy eye. That thing is cool. It's expensive, huh? Yeah. They're trying to grow it out. This side usually needs to tend to be for quarantine only. Okay, so cool. So any new pieces that come in colony wise, they'll come in here and they'll come in uh, for about two weeks. Then we'll, you know, inspect them really well and dip them. Uh, and then once they're dipped for 10 minutes, clear out any bugs, anything like that, we'll rinse them off and put them over to the farm side. Do you chop them like right when they go from QT to normal tanks, where you chop them right away or let them go for a couple weeks again before you uh, chop no, them? No, no, we'll chop them usually the same day. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a tree or something? Tree, yeah. Is it a special kind? A uh, rainbow. That thing is so cool looking. Look, like this guy's got a mushroom hanging. Is that a, that's a mushroom oh, hanging off, right? Oh, hitchhiker, yeah. Huh? Hitchhiker mushroom. That one's got cool splatter color, too. Try to do like two or three uh, eyes of frag. Okay. So I'm usually frags about this big. With Dremel? Um, No, all with those bands. So I have, we have two bands. We have an XL, and we have a small one. The XL, unfortunately, right now is out of business because we're waiting for the salt with uh, the blade coming in. But um, either or, they're both good, and then we'll just uh, have a container here for the water after they cut, put them here, rinse them off a little bit, and put them straight to, to the blood. So when you're having like a cutting day, you just like freaking cutting uh, yeah, all day? Yeah, uh, I usually change out the water, um, do the species of coral, or even with the same species. Once it gets gunky with cement and all that, I'll change out the water. So when I put in the new cut frags, they're not sitting in that water. It's yeah. all gunked in. So I usually transfer over the water about every cutting, every eight can colony. Mm -hmm. I'll switch out the water and refresh it and keep it constantly refreshed as well as the band saw. I try to refresh it with fresh water. I want to start putting those in the nano tank. Those are hard to keep. I, I don't are have they? any personally. I mean, some people for them it's easy. But for me, I don't have any personally. Do they do they vary in like, like are they hard to keep compared to skull, like normal scullies or just in general? normal scullies are a little bit harder. Harder? Yeah, to keep Oh them. gosh, I just got one. Well, I mean, it's not their fed. What I've heard is that they got to be fed like once a week. Um, okay. Some people cut a bottle top, they'll put it right over and they'll let it feed so no fishes could come and take out the food out yeah, of it. Yeah, I was, I was seeing that problem when I was feeding. The fish kept trying to take it out. Dude, these little scullies. Those are pretty. I know. And the one in the back, yeah. he said is a master. That's like, I think, what do you say, $1,000 I think or something like that? Yeah. For that little guy in the back. So did they have this farm before they expanded? Yeah, or they were doing it somewhere else? No, no, they didn't have a farm before this. Oh, so it was just straight store? Yeah. Oh, cool. There are so many frags in here, like so many. Oh, little fishy. Hi, buddy. What's that guy called in the back? The one that's on the, yeah. These? No, no. Uh, oh, oh, the the mummy? That's a mummy eye. Not a 3G though. That's just a regular mummy eye. Looks so cool. Oh, Ghanis. I want to try these in the inner tank too. I just haven't gotten any yet. By the way, guys, Thomas will be at Skelly Fest, booth 202. He's bringing all the fire to his booth, Reef Boss. You guys can check him out there. If you're not sure what Skelly Fest is yet, well, first of all, you should know. But September 24th, the Ultimate Aquatic Expo is taking place in Miami, put on by me. We have the coral room completely full. We have a lounge. We're gonna have like kid competition, maybe an adult competition as well. Some presentations, some workshops, a raffle, a sick raffle. We have some like awesome raffle pieces. I can't wait to start sharing those with you guys. So make sure you guys get your tickets, skellyfest.com, September 24th in Miami, Florida. Freshwater side, you guys know I'm not too big in the freshwater, but whoa. Ooh, look at these little tanks. Those are cute. Little aquascapes going on in there. I also like these too. Look at these little bowls. They have a lot of like the, uh, like the little tanks. Like the, like look at, oh, this is new too. Look how tiny that is. It's a one gallon cube. 
What do you put in here? Beta. Oh yeah, I guess a beta fish. Oh, is that the one? Is that the one, Gala? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that one comes with the light, but that is a pretty no. cool light. When I do go freshwater, I'm not sure if they have one here. On this side? Yeah, something like this. This is exactly what I want to build when I go. Uh, but I think I might want to go like like this, but then ha but the half and half. I think it's called the pendulum or something like that, where it's the water with the fish. And I also want to incorporate like the mist. I think the mist is like a key feature to really really make these things look super dope. Honestly, I might do it soon. I just gotta figure out where to put it. That's my issue. I got nowhere to put anything. Literally, like I could just make an entire fish room, but I don't have the room to make the fish room in. So that's that's where we're, we're having a little disconnect where I can't keep buying tanks because I, I can't put them anywhere. They got a shipment in here. Look at all these little fish. I got no idea what any of them are. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you ship only on the freshwater or every Tuesday shipment for everything? For everything, for freshwater and saltwater. Okay, cool. All the fish usually Tuesdays. Tuesday, so hit them up on Tuesdays if you guys want some new stuff. They got plants. Hey, look at these guys. Huh? Yeah, albino Oscars. Albino Oscars. Yeah. Those are cool. Oh, some turtles. Yellow belly turtles. <laughs> I didn't know, I wasn't expecting you guys to be over here. Yeah. Huh? Keep all our stones and our, our driftwood here. That's so like, if you wanna like, create a, a nice like aquascape thing. You can just come here and just play around with it and see what you like. Do you have to do anything special like with rocks when going into freshwater? Like you know how saltwater rocks you have to like let them cure right. and I stuff? I would usually just like rinse them out. That's it? Um, yeah. The only thing is for driftwood you want to boil it like around like um, you want to boil it, leave, let it soak in there and then let the tannins come out. Huh. Because if you if you just dump the, the driftwood inside the tank it releases the tannin and it makes like the water kind of brown. Ah. Oh, look at this one. He looks like he has a mustache. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, mustache. You a question? <laughs> That's cool. I that, I gotta make one of these tanks soon, man. I don't know. I I wonder what size. But the thing is, I would want to if I did the pendulum thing, it would be in the bigger tank. But I have nowhere to put a bigger tank. Like I could maybe. But how big is this one? I feel like I could maybe figure out a place to put that. But that, there's no way. Like, where would I, I put that? It's easier to maintain that than this. I understand that, but I don't have space to put that. If I get 250 likes on this video, I will figure out where to put this freshwater tank. A freshwater tank, not this specific one. Figure out what size I can do. And we will start a freshwater build out on the channel. So 250 likes. No more, no less. I mean, more is always good, but just no less. Just put this right next to the saltwater tank. Now imagine this with a waterfall in the mist. Sick. And I double the size of all mm. That'd be cool. 250 likes. I'll start a freshwater build. That's going to be it for this tour. Thank you, Thomas, so much for You're giving welcome. us the tour. Make sure you guys check out his booth at Skelly Fest, September 24th, Miami, Florida. Buy your tickets today. They're only $12 online. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. We've got new fish videos every single week. You're going to want to be here for it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.